on YouTube, it's your boy OGT Man, and today, 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 we got that vegan teacher keeps getting worse. But my boy Poncho got this vegan teacher keep getting worse. Now, I heard she got all exposed on TikTok for eating meat. I don't know. But anyways, let's get straight into the video. Make sure you subscribe to my boy. Link will be in the description to the videos, all of them. No busy. But anyways, let's go. The baby is enjoying the barbecue sauce, which is vegan. If this had been a lollipop, the child would have had the same reaction. If this had been somebody's penis... <laughs> If I get taken down for this, all oh, you motherfuckers going with me. Because why the fuck would she say that? I just would want to know. First off, no, this video isn't clickbait. You read the title correct. Second off, YouTube's got to step in for this situation. For those who haven't seen, that vegan teacher dropped a video and apparently in it, she compared a baby eating meat to a baby being R-worded. Yeah, you heard me right. Imagine that this is your baby and you ask your sister to babysit for a little while because you have to run some errands. Imagine that you tell your sister that you are vegan and you don't want your baby to eat any animal products. You trust your sister because you think your sister loves you and respects you. Be for real, bro. It's just a prank on the kid and he gets a bite of ribs out of it, so I'd say that's a W for him. Sure, the vegan mom might not have wanted Jimmy to have the ribs, but it's not like it's the end of the world, vegan teacher. I mean, she's acting like the ribs are poisonous or something, like, let him eat. But when you're not looking, your sister takes the dead body part of an innocent animal who didn't want to die and feeds it to your child, scolding her for being cruel and betraying her sister's trust. The feedback she gets is praise. Yeah, no shit. Lady, did you not see the baby staring at the ribs? Little bro clearly wanted them and you can't tell me otherwise. I'm Look at that face. That looks like the face of satisfaction. He like, man, if you don't give me this motherfucking rib back, we're gonna have some issues. And I'll give little buddy the rib back. Go ahead, have fun with the rib. Your mama just can't get mad at me. No, no kids. She just can't. But yeah. Reacting to a funny TikTok. It's a positive TikTok. It's a little prank. It's like whatever, right? She's taking it so damn serious. Like, chill out. This is the kind of vegan phobic world we live in. Oh no, now with the vegan phobic stuff. I feel like I'm back in 2021. Where a vegan mother cannot even trust her own family to follow her instructions and not betray her. Womp womp. Jimmy liked it. Millions of people have seen this video and have commented that they think it is funny. It is funny. I mean, look at his face. And they somehow think that this is proof that the baby wants the meat. But look closely. <laughs> we are. You're going to act like this baby wouldn't eat a whole plate of ribs? Like, come on. If this little guy could talk, he'd be saying, hey, give me some more. This meat is covered in barbecue sauce, which is made of salt, sugar, and spices. The baby is enjoying the barbecue sauce, which is vegan. If this had been a lollipop, the child would have had the same reaction. If this had been somebody's penis... Excuse me? Run that back. If this had been somebody's penis covered in sauce, the child would have had the same reaction vegan teacher why is that even entering your mind this is very alarming by this point i think you're closer to being put on a registry of some sort than converting anybody to veganism why did she feel the need to say that that's my question like i know she's not well in the head she's pretty crazy we've known that since the jump but this is a new level of crazy we haven't seen yet like somebody seriously send this old lady off to like a mental asylum or something like that i'm not kidding bro this isn't a joke let that sink in for a minute I don't think I would ponder that Picture that. No. What is she saying, bro? Nobody wants to picture that. What? Feel that in your gut. I think we know the real reason why she said that. <clears throat> Could it be perhaps that she would like to feel something in your... 
you like that sinking? Would you like to feel something in your gut, my lady? Because if so, that's all you had to say. You vegan, but you like a little meat. And I better not get, I bet y'all vegan people better not come in my damn comments with that. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't, YouTube, don't come at me for this, because this ain't, this ain't offending, man. I don't want to hear it from nobody. From nobody. Because my fuck, can't stand, focus, camera. I'm getting tired of you, camera. I really am. You were my first baby. When we first was recording with you, you weren't doing this. Uh, now you're just so selfish. There we go. Anyways, let's keep going. Let that imagery wash all over your body. And before you can scream and yell and say that there is a big difference between the two, I invite you right now to try to articulate that okay first of all the difference between the two scenarios is obvious giving a baby some ribs is called feeding a baby a vegan teacher here's the difference the scenario you described is called child that's the difference it's a big difference a major difference the fact that you can't see that difference is wild if a mother tells you not to put something in her child's mouth and you do it you have essentially reaped that child's palate this baby had a right to maintain her vegan virginity. This mother did not consent to her child eating an animal. This child did not consent to eating an animal who didn't want to die. On behalf of all good people who live on this planet and are able to see right from wrong, I apologize to this child. I am deeply sorry that your aunt felt the need to do this to you. To all mothers and fathers who are striving to be vegan in this vegan phobic world, I salute you. To the millions of people who have commented on this post and laughed about it, try for a moment to put yourself in the position of the animal. This animal did not want to die. This is somebody's rib. Somebody's rib. It is somebody's body part. The animal wanted to be with his or her family. Well, now it's on this kid's plate, so rip. The animal had a right to live. It also had a right to be eaten. Welcome to planet Earth. All animals have a right to be free, to live their lives without being commodified, tortured, raped, killed. At the end of the day, ain't that just the food chain? Wouldn't you just... Why don't you, you be, why don't you say this to any other animal? What? If they don't get eaten by us, they're just gonna get eaten in the wild. It's it's no way of stopping that. Why don't you tell those carnivores out there to be vegan? How about that? How about you tell them to convert and they'll tell you what the hell they think? You're gonna be on their palate. You think they're going to give a fuck? No. So the fact that you're saying this to anybody in here who loves some ribs, comment down if you love some ribs, because I damn sure do. But I'm going to stop trying to eat pork. That's the only thing I'll change. Eating pork, eating a lot of shellfish and seafood, I'm going to try to stop that. But in terms of eating... Mm, meat pause no very much enjoy ground beef and chicken and dismembered all babies have a right to maintain their vegan virginity the fact that she uses the word vegan virginity clearly she's not in a healthy headspace and should probably get help vegan teacher if you're watching this video i think everybody on the internet including me agrees that you are not in your right mind and you should probably go to a clinic okay okay Babies do not consent to having body parts put into their mouth, whether it's a penis or a rib or anything else. Oh, she keeps saying that. The only body part that should ever have come into contact with this baby is his own mother's arms. We live in a twisted world. You're telling us after you just created a hypothetical sexual situation with a baby in it. I can't do this, bro. But we can change. 
let's do that. When you look at the comments below, try to imagine the kind of person who is writing them. Try to imagine their face. Yeah, this is my face the whole entire time watching this. What they look like. The kind of circumstances they're living in. How deranged they are. How psychotic they are. This is the biggest projection ever. She basically just described herself. Psychotic and deranged. If there are good people who are reading this, now is your chance to step forward. Yeah, I step forward and say, vegan teacher, you are a complete creep for saying that. Like, what is on your mind? Psychological evaluation is what needs to happen to that vegan teacher. Like, she needs her brain checked. And I honestly advocate for her being deplatformed and for her to go to some type of mental asylum or clinic. And listen, I'm serious right now. Like, I know y'all are used to me memeing about this lady because, you know, it's a crazy old vegan lady, haha. -ha, but now she's, like, genuinely showing her crazy side in a creepy, weird way. Like, I think everybody wants her out of here by this point. It's honestly sad that she's gotten to the point where she's just letting these crazy sick thoughts fly out but i guess all we can really do is just hope that either youtube reaches out or some sort of mental institution takes action if we could have both of those outcomes and that would honestly just be a miracle but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below should she be banned should she have her hard drive examined let me know and yeah with that all being said stay positive stay active stay healthy and i'll catch you on the next one thank you thank you my boy um, yeah, that's the end of the video. My thoughts, she definitely needs to go to a clinic. She needs some help. Because what the hell? But anyways, let's go ahead and look at these comments. It's scary to realize that she used to be a teacher. That is, from a baby eating meat to making us think of a baby getting <laughs> vegan teacher should be locked up. No, facts. She acting like animals don't kill each other every day. That's exactly what I just said. Who Who is this? Captain Avocado 5206. Exactly. Another problem. Not a single time did the person making the video of the baby eating a rib actually said that the baby was vegan. Just that the parent of the child. Exactly. Babies do not consent to having body parts put in their mouth. Breastfeeding. Who's going to stop this? <laughs> That's true, too. But anyways, it's your boy OGT Main signing out. You dig? This shit just, I don't fucking even know.